Welcome to Share Talk, the only podcast where investors come first. Hi, this is Zach Mir with the Bulletin Board Heroes here on Share Talk for Wednesday, the 14th of April. Starting with Anamoy, which I've uh, tried to avoid in the recent past just because it looked so illiquid, but it uh, looks as though in the last week or so we've got these uh, proper solid, uh, consecutive solid green candles on the daily chart. Broken a line of resistance there from the end of January around uh, the, what's that, 4.2 pence level and uh, headed higher within a rising trend channel, the top of the channel they're currently forecasting or predicting a target as high as uh, 15 pence as soon as the end of next month. And that target batted at least while we hold above the 6 pence area, which is, I suppose, the end of day close uh, support or old resistance now, new support for the share. So above 6, looking for 15 and really only back below the 4.2 level and that uh, broken resistance line from January really uh, questioning the upside scenario. Next up, a stock which has um, been a rather difficult customer in the recent past, uh, sort of uh, breaking the pattern of uh, bullish stocks in most areas. Uh, here we've got Asia Met Resources, uh, the rather horrible um, decline from the December peak. Current situation is that it looks as though the shares are trying to break neckline resistance, uh, the um, March resistance there around 2.6 pence. So really looking for a weekly close above 2.6 uh, for a potential move up to the 200-day moving average at three and a quarter. Uh, if you are an aggressive fan of the shares, which there might be one or two left, I suppose, at least while we're above the 50-day moving average at 2.3 pence, we've got a potential recovery situation on our hands, especially while the RSI remains above neutral 50 at 56. Uh, that is uh, indicative of a bull trend or a new bull trend for a stock or market. Always good to see a stock which uh, the bears have been uh, uh, throwing stones at uh, continuing to rally and that's the situation that we've had at Audio Boom over the recent uh, well, two or three months I suppose. Uh, the bears not realizing that uh, the pandemic has been a, a real boom for podcasters everywhere and that's uh, obviously what Audio Boom does. Current situation is that we've uh, hit a previous uh, seven pound zone target and looking to see where the shares will go next, at least while we're above that broken September resistance line projection target level of £7. We're looking towards a December resistance line projection target as high as £9 as soon as the end of next month, after the shares have maybe cooled down a bit. Uh, the bull argument at least valid while we hold above the 6.08 uh, March uh, peak that we had. So uh, uh, that is the stop loss, I suppose, but uh, ideally there's no sustained price action back below £7 ahead of a £9 target. Moving on to Clear Leisure, which uh, had a few sparky days earlier in the year. Just good to catch up on it now. Just it's toying with that neckline resistance from the middle of March around uh, 3 pence. So looking for a, an end of day or a weekly close above 3 pence to open up the prospect of a fresh leg to the upside. Not only retesting March resistance uh, around 4.5 pence, but also uh, hitting the top of a rising trend channel from February as high as 7 pence and that would be 4 to 6 weeks after any clearance of the 3 pence level. So looking pretty strong at uh, clear leisure. Uh, only back below the 50 day moving average in the floor of the channel at 2.1 pence really questioning the ongoing bull argument for the shares. Moving on to Dev Clever, which had its uh, big news this week and um, Sort of catch up on it again, given the way that uh, there aren't that many uh, bullish situations around at the moment. Uh, what, consolidation at the moment between 35 and 40 pence. I'm really looking for a weekly close through 40 to give us a target at the top of the rising trend channel from uh, late November, as high as 52 pence as soon as the end of next month. But um, while we're above the 34, 35 pence level, uh, looking for 50 pence plus on Dev Clever. Uh, stock which has uh, managed to uh, surprise even the cynics, um, perhaps even myself, has been uh, a live company, but uh, I suppose uh, we are in that kind of stage in the cycle now. We've broken the uh, resistance from February at six pence, and while we're above that, uh, looking to the top of a broadening triangle on the daily chart from November as high as 15 pence by the end of next month, a big plus point, I suppose, today, is that we managed to clear the 200-day moving average at uh, seven pence without incidents are looking pretty impressive uh, to do that on the first attempt. So let's see if um, Live Company manages to get away with that. The other point to note here is that um, the top of the uh, gap down was at 7.3 pence uh, in December. 
so an end of day close above that uh, would be the bulletin board heroes style uh, buy signal target or it's a buy signal rather to get us to 15 pence all the more quickly on live company let's see if that works a uh, stock which has uh, which is clearly not uh, the most liquid in town is coming up next um phoenix global resources but as i said it's a bit of a thin day so sort of not scraping the barrel but you know what i mean uh, here we've had a gap through the 200 day moving average at 6.62 pence and uh, the longer we stay above the 200 day line the greater the chance of a move towards 12 pence as soon as the end of next month gaps through the through resistance and also through the 200 day line tend to be reasonably reliable by signals especially uh, if we can make a break today's high uh, early in tomorrow's session on to a stock which uh, is uh, sort of the punter's favorite um, rambler metals uh, churn famously over now we have had it mentioned in the sunday roast uh, a couple of times in a couple of weeks i think in the last uh, few weeks uh, here we've got a situation where we've broken that uh, february peak at 0.41 and the longer we stay above that the greater the chance of a move towards the top of the rising trend channel from october at 0.7 pence sounds rather ambitious but uh, that seems to be what we've got uh, here on the daily chart at the moment. So uh, I suppose one could be uh, more uh, cautious and say 0.5 is a target, but uh, does that, that uh, rising trend channel from October does seem to fit the chart very well. And we also have the 200 day line at 0.59. So that does suggest that we can get more than just 0.5 over the near term. Moving along to a stock which has uh, really uh, performed well since the autumn and um, was tracked here. Uh, quite early when it was uh, still below a penny i think the uh, sort of 0 0.8 0 0.9 pence was the uh, the uh, buying zone technical buying zone when we uh, spiked through uh, uh, that area in december since then we've had uh, gaps to the upside uh, we had one there in february so it showed that there was momentum there and uh, the view is that while we are um, well we're going to end of day close above the old march peak at 2.4 pence which was our previous target we could hit as high as three and a half pence as soon as the end of next month. At this stage, only really well below two pence, and the floor of the channel from January, January really delaying the upside scenario. Moving along to a stock which again is one that the uh, the punters have been willing to go higher. Uh, it's taken a bit of time. Uh, really, um, uh, Serenus uh, should have uh, broken uh, broken out, I suppose, in January, February, but instead we've had a consolidation. Uh, the range of the recent past being sort of around the three pence area. What we'd like to see, I suppose, is a weekly close above the 50-day moving average at three and a quarter pence, or uh, a clean break of that uh, February resistance line around 3.6 pence. If we can get that, the prize is a move towards that uh, November resistance line projection as high as six and a half pence uh, in the month or two following any. Um, sustained uh, break of the three and a half pence plus area so let's see how serenus does there just a couple of stocks to go now first one is Sasanda, and uh, surprisingly strong here on this uh, particular chart uh, i missed uh, the uh, gap to the upside through resistance uh, early last month uh, that was uh, around the uh, what 18 pence uh, area uh, that gap never filled and we've actually then uh, gone on and broken the old resistance from december at 21 pence above 21 pence looking for a pretty high target here maybe up to 40 pence over the next one to two months so maybe by the end of june or earlier up to 40 pence plus for sasanda so looking like quite a decent recovery uh, situation after the uh, unfilled gap to the upside which is a pretty good sign of a stock which is uh, in recovery mode i think we had one of those in july as well so uh, uh, that wasn't too bad either Finishing off uh, with a favourite of, uh, I suppose, all uh, retail investors or many re retail investors, uh, one way or the other, uh, su Supply Me Capital. Uh, here we had the break of the 200-day uh, moving average. Uh, we've had one in uh, uh, the beginning of the month and we had another one yesterday, I suppose, the day before as well. Uh, but we've had a key, what looks like a, a burgeoning key reversal to the upside. End of day close of about 0.39 would be useful this week. Uh, to give us a potential of the shares then just trading within the 0.3 to 0.7 range one more time and uh, maybe that will be the most scenar likely scenario for the stock it's also around 0.233 well 0.32 that we have the floor of the rising trend channel from august and above that looking as at a best case scenario target as high as 0.8 but it looks like range 
uh, trading for supply me capital at the moment. That's it for me today. More updates tomorrow. Thank you for listening. Remember to visit our website for more news and other podcasts at www.share-talk.com.